First, I'd like to recommend that you open a web browser and go to line6.com's support pages. Within that, if you watch the on-screen action, we're showing you how to access the update documents that are relevant to this entire process depending on the device you own. The update document and the device positioning document are two really important references that we here in support use all the time to assist our customers in successful updates of the digital wireless devices. We highly advise that you go through these documents first to familiarize yourself with every step that you'll encounter in the update process for familiarity's sake. Of course, watch the videos and you'll also see the information repeated visually, which will help ultimately as well. In order to perform an update to any of our digital wireless units, you will need access to an XDV75 receiver. The reason for this is that the XDV75 receiver features a mini USB jack on the back which connects to a host PC or Mac computer. You will need to have Line 6 Monkey Update software installed on your host computer to then push the flash memory software through the XDV75 receiver onto the intended target device to be updated. Do not have the power supply connected to the receiver at all. First, connect the mini USB cable to the back of the receiver and also on the computer end, of course. If you flip the unit around, notice the power switch should be set to off. Furthermore, during the update process, you will never be powering up the receiver from that switch. What you will do now is connect the power supply cable to the power input jack. Doing so, will then put the receiver into what we call loader state, which is the state that it needs to be in to do updates to itself or any other Line 6 digital wireless device. With the V75 receiver set in loader mode, please launch Line 6 Monkey. The rest of this video will show what it looks like to update the flash memory of the receiver itself. Now, if you have a receiver that's already up to the latest version and you wish to update other devices, please watch the remaining videos. You can skip ahead to those now. If this is your first time updating a V75 receiver, please consider this video as a reference point as to what to expect during the entire process. Monkey essentially will walk you through every step of the way, but this video will then give you peace of mind as to what's going on on screen so you can compare to make sure that that is what's happening on your end as well. The remaining minute of this video will show you toggles between the front panel of the V75 receiver and what you should see happening in Monkey simultaneously.